22 hours a day? Or like what, how many I hours? I was working, yeah, so seven days a week, sleeping in the factory. Uh, I worked everywhere from the, I worked in the, I worked in the paint shop, journal assembly, body shop. Do you ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too yeah. much? Absolutely. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And people should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, it's very painful. Painful in what sense? Uh, it's, it, hurts my, it hurts my brain and my heart. Do you ever find yourself dreaming of wealth yet feel like it's just out of reach? In today's fast paced world, achieving financial abundance seems more challenging than ever. But if I told you that the path to riches requires not just hard work, but also specific sacrifices, yes, that's right. To unlock the door to wealth, certain comforts and habits need to be reassessed and sometimes let go. It's not all about earning more. It's about strategic sacrifices that pave the way for substantial financial growth. In this video, we're going to explore six essential sacrifices you need to make if you truly want to be rich. These aren't just tips, they're transformative actions that can drastically alter your financial landscape. And just when you think it's all about giving things up, I'll show you how these sacrifices can open up new doors to opportunities and financial freedom you never thought possible. So are you ready to make the changes necessary to turn your dreams of wealth into reality? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Number one, sacrifice your time for continuous learning. I have to emphasize a lot on the younger years. Your teen years, your 20s, because that's when the foundation of life is made. If you put all the hard work, all that unity, all the sweat that you have to put in, if you put it in those years, you'll see the reward coming in the later part of the year, in your 30s and 40s, and you'll live the life to the fullest. And everyone will be like, wow, what is this guy doing? Well, all that I did was I sacrificed and did what I needed to do when it was supposed to be done. Our first crucial sacrifice revolves around dedicating your time to continuous learning and skill enhancement. Consider this, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, titans of industry, didn't stumble upon success by chance. They invested countless hours in education and skill development. Picture your knowledge and abilities as bargaining chips in today's competitive market. The more you possess, the more valuable you become. In a rapidly evolving landscape of industries and technologies, embracing lifelong learning is not just advantageous, it's imperative. Bill Gates, for instance, is renowned for his voracious reading habit, while Warren Buffett attributes much of his success to a lifetime of learning about companies and investments. Sacrificing leisure time for educational pursuits may seem daunting, yet it's a pivotal step towards securing lasting financial prosperity. Remember, time is a finite resource. How you invest it today shapes your financial future tomorrow. Number two, embrace entrepreneurship by leaving your comfort zone. The wealthiest people on earth, <laughs> the reason they're multi, 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 multi billionaires is not because they have a hundred rental units. The reason they are multi, multi billionaires is because they have a company that's valued at multi, multi tens of billions and they just take a loan out whenever they want. And the best part is loans are tax free. Now I live in Dubai, so I don't need to worry about tax anyways, but that's really how you get to the hundreds of millions. Think of it as venturing into uncharted waters where risks and uncertainties abound. Yet it is precisely this willingness to confront the unknown that distinguishes successful entrepreneurs from the rest. Consider the transformative journeys of visionaries like Steve Jobs and Oprah Winfrey. Jobs dared to disrupt the tech industry's status quo, while Winfrey overcame personal hurdles to build a media empire. Both epitomized the spirit of entrepreneurship, a relentless pursuit of innovation and resilience in the face of adversity. Entrepreneurship offers unparalleled opportunities for creativity, autonomy, and wealth creation. By embracing change and embracing calculated risks, you open doors to unprecedented financial rewards. So dare to dream, dare to innovate, and dare to embark on the entrepreneurial journey, for therein lies the path to true financial freedom. Number three, sacrifice impulsive spending for financial discipline. Our next pivotal sacrifice revolves around shedding the habit of impulsive spending in favor of financial discipline. It's an all too common obstacle on the path to wealth mindless purchases that sabotage our financial goals. Picture each impulse buy as a small leak, silently draining your wallet and hindering your capacity to save and invest. 
That's a natural response. As long as you're taking it seriously, because yeah. this is upsetting. I, if already, we have essentially max, or if we just built up this credit card debt that we couldn't pay off because we are spending all of our money on food and gems, then what are we doing where we have to transfer it? And now after we transfer it, we're making additional purchases. Why? The first step in overcoming impulsive spending is recognizing its detrimental impact. To cultivate financial discipline, start by crafting a robust budget. Clearly define your financial goals, categorize your expenses, and monitor your spending regularly. Take it a step further by automating your savings and investments, ensuring a portion of your income goes directly towards your financial objectives before temptation strikes. It's not about depriving yourself, but making intentional decisions about how you allocate your resources. Another key concept in wealth building is delayed gratification, the ability to resist immediate rewards in favor of more substantial long-term goals. I used to be really bad with impulsive spending, but the 30-day rule helped me take into control my impulsive spending. And what the 30-day rule is, is if you want or you feel like you need something, you wait 30 days in total. And after that 30-day period, if you still want that and it's within your budget, then feel free to purchase that item. Think of it like planting a tree. You wait for years to enjoy the fruits. Similarly, by delaying gratification, you're investing in a more secure and prosperous financial future. Set clear long-term goals, whether it's saving for retirement, purchasing a home, or starting a business, and create a concrete plan to achieve them. By prioritizing delayed gratification and staying focused on your financial goals, you sow the seeds for significant future rewards. Number four, abandon unproductive habits for time management. Many of us find ourselves squandering precious hours on activities like aimless social media scrolling, watching pointless videos, or succumbing to the allure of procrastination. These habits not only diminish our efficiency, but also pose a significant threat to our financial aspirations. Each moment spent on unproductive pursuits is a moment lost, time that could be invested in learning, undertaking, or investing. Identifying and addressing these habits is pivotal for freeing up essential resources. To overcome unproductive habits, one must develop robust time management and productivity skills. Start by crafting an effective action plan that includes clear daily and weekly goals, prioritizing tasks based on importance, and steering clear of excessive multitasking, which can erode concentration. Employ time management tools such as reminder apps or calendars to stay organized and on track. Additionally, allocate dedicated time for self-improvement, be it through reading or acquiring new skills, to enhance your overall effectiveness over time. The journey to financial success demands not only wise investment of financial resources, but also astute investment of time. Number five, choose positive relationships over toxic influences. You can't lose yourself in a relationship yes. because you're going to miss you. you. At one point in time, you're gonna go, wow, what happened to me? Sometimes you just need to be by yourself to collect your thoughts. It's an overwhelming thing, especially if the other person is making you feel responsible for their happiness. The people you surround yourself with and the environment you immerse yourself in can wield profound effects on your financial journey. Research shows that you are the average of the five individuals you spend the most time with. Hence, Sacrificing toxic or demotivating relationships for those who share your aspirations and support your financial goals is paramount. Positive relationships contribute guidance, inspiration, and even business opportunities, accelerating your journey toward wealth. Recognizing and minimizing negative influences requires introspection. Identify individuals in your life who perpetually harbor pessimism, criticism, or discourage your pursuit of financial goals. While it may not be necessary to sever ties abruptly, establishing healthy boundaries and communicating your goals is a crucial initial step. Sometimes, it entails spending less time with those whose influence impedes your financial growth. Prioritize relationships that challenge and uplift you. The transformational power of positive connections cannot be overstated. A poignant illustration of this sacrifice is found in Oprah Winfrey's narrative. Despite a challenging background and unhealthy relationships in her youth, Oprah realized the significance of surrounding herself with supporters who believed in her potential. This shift in her social circle 
played a pivotal role in her journey to becoming one of the wealthiest women globally. Number six, sacrifice job security for investment opportunities. Uh, the personal implications that I went from not having to have a job to then probably having to go back to having a job. Um, so I basically took that security uh, that I built up uh, that 22 I'm set for life and I gave that up um, in a moment's notice. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, um, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. The final and perhaps the most significant sacrifice is giving up traditional job security for investment opportunities. Many individuals who have amassed substantial wealth consciously chose entrepreneurship and strategic investments over the conventional job trajectory. Consider Elon Musk, who staked his fortune and reputation on ventures like Tesla and SpaceX, ultimately reaping significant profits. Warren Buffett is another exemplar, dedicating time and resources to stocks and companies that elevated him to the echelons of the world's richest individuals. These real-life examples underscore the potential rewards that come with sacrificing job security in pursuit of strategic investments. While conventional jobs offer financial stability, they often entail limitations on earning potential and lack the autonomy and control that entrepreneurship and investments provide. Moreover, job security does not immunize against economic downturns or shifts in the job market. Investing in assets and income streams such as stocks, real estate, or businesses represents a tried and true strategy for amassing wealth over time. As your investments burgeon, they generate passive income streams, enabling you to accrue wealth even when not actively working. This affords you the opportunity to attain substantial financial freedom and build considerable wealth over time. As you embark on your wealth building journey, assess your commitment to these sacrifices. Financial success demands determination and commitment. But remember, sacrifices themselves are not enough to be rich. In the next video, we'll unveil unconventional strategies that go beyond traditional education to build your wealth. These are strategies that should be applied simultaneously with the sacrifices. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and remember, good investments lead to financial prosperity. Thanks for watching.